My name is Tom Pickett. I'm the pastor of New Hope Christian Fellowship in Fort Worth, Texas. And I'm here with uh, two friends of mine to talk about how do we live a reconciled life. This is for the program A Time to Reconcile, and we're just happy to be here with you today. And to begin, we'd like to open in prayer, if you'll please join with us. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Son Jesus to us so that we could have life in you forever and that life would be reconciled through His shed blood and His risen life. His body would be risen from the dead and life would be with us for eternity through Him. So we thank you and we ask and pray now that we have received this reconciled life that we would definitely uh, walk in it and we would uh, embrace it with all of our heart, mind, and soul. And so we ask and pray your blessing and your inspiration and thank you in the precious and holy name of Jesus and all together we say, Amen. 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 Well, today we want to talk about how do we live a re reconciled life. <coughs> I'd like to introduce uh, my sister, uh, Sister Lisa Swartz, who is the CEO of uh, Crazy Eight Ministries, and my brother in Christ, uh, Brother uh, Kwe Kuhatsi, who is a retired professor from Oxford University. And we're going to be talking about how to begin with uh, living a self reconciled life because we have a part to play in receiving that reconciled life in Jesus. So Lisa, would you start off and give us a, an answer to that question? How do we live a self-reconciled life? Well, I think first of all, it's important to distinguish the difference between reconciliation with God and reconciliation with self. And yes. so I think that, you know, there's a, there, it's, e I say it's easy, but it's easier in some regard to say, well, I agree with God and I'm reconciled with God and what he says about who I am. And then there's another step that I think we often miss, which is basically saying, and I agree with God. I say this about myself and I agree that I am who I am and I, I agree with God and what he says. Yes. And so I think it's important to make that distinguishment and saying, um, it's not just about having a healthy relationship with God, but it's about having a healthy relationship with yourself as well. And saying, you know, God thinks I'm beautiful, and I agree, I think I'm beautiful. God thinks I'm gifted, and I agree, I know I have gifts. God loves me, and I agree, I'm in love with my design. Um, and so the Bible says that we are fearfully and we are wonderfully made. Mm, yes, it does. And that my soul knows very well. And I think a lot of times we would say, okay, yeah, I know I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I know that's what God says, but my soul wars with that, that thinking and understanding. And then the world would swing to the other end in saying that all of our gifts, all of our beauty, all of our talents, all of our design is all about us. You know, and so the balance there, because I want to be careful when we're talking about a self-love, which then should give itself to self-care, self-ministry, healthy boundaries in my mm -hmm. life. I want to be careful to really distinguish that self-love isn't the self-love that we're talking about that the world tells us. It's about being an enamored with who God has created me to be Amen. so that God would be glorified in my life, so that the, the God design in me would be out in front, and that's what I'm in love with. See, the world, self-love is about, about glorifying self, um, but self-love in God's eyes is about glorifying the Creator because we're in love with the creation. Amen. Um, so, I, you know, when I look at a, when I look at a painting or when I look at a poem, you know, to say that I don't like the paint, the, the picture, or to say that I don't like the poem is to say that I don't agree with the painter, the artist, or I don't agree with the writer. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think, you know, I think it's good, I think it's healthy, and I think it's right, and I think it's biblical, most importantly, that we understand that we are a creation of God. Um, and that to say, man, I'm enamored with my creation, isn't to be self-boasting, but rather it's to boast in the Creator. You know, Jesus says in John 17 that uh, He asked the Father in that prayer that He gave for us, He said, Father, may they know that You love yes. them as You love Me. Uh -huh. And so we know that the Father loved the Son with all of His heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, so He loves us in the same way because as you said, we are His creation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Jesus came down to identify with us yes. forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, now He wants us to fully identify with Him right. forever. Absolutely. 
which means uh, you are loving what God has made. Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's right. You see, you're loving what God has made and accept what God has given. Yeah. So you see, true. You love it and you accept it. And yes. That, and that makes you and the creator or the maker one. one. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. You know, the, the Bible says in Jeremiah, it says, before uh, before you were born, while you were still in your mother's mm -hmm. womb, I knew you. In Jeremiah 1.5, mm -hmm. it says that. And if you read that in the Hebrew, it's the idea of, I approved of you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us say, well, I, I know that God approves of me, but do I approve of me? That's the, that's the, the, that's the shift yes. that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, because, you know, reconciliation is a restoration in uh, relationship right. with God. It's, it, he, he wants to talk with us and receive us as his child so that we can call upon him any time, day or night, and he is there for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to know how much he loves us and he really likes to be in our presence. Mm -hmm. And as we uh, appreciate being in his presence, he wants to be in our presence in the same way. It's amazing as that sounds, but that's what a close intimate mm -hmm. relationship is all about. Mm -hmm. See, that, 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 that is what really comes to the uh, forefront of knowing how to live. See, Christianity is a life, it's not a psychology. Mm -hmm. Yes. Neither is it a philosophy, it's a life. Mm -hmm. Life is unseen, but you can live it. Yeah, it's Easily. good. And that is, that is what, the, you said, the soul mm -hmm. struggles sometimes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the soul wants to remove uh, carnality out of its environment. Yeah, it's good. You see? Mm -hmm. So when the soul removes carnality around him, it dissolves himself into what life is. Mm -hmm. And so he flows. Mm -hmm. You see, we live in the flow of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. We live in the flow of life, which means I think God's thoughts Mm -hmm. You see, I think the thoughts of God, mm -hmm. and so I move the way God moves. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. why Paul said, "The life that I live mm -hmm. is not me." That's right. <laughs> right. That's you right. see, my soul has accepted mm -hmm. the originality mm -hmm. of life in itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God blew uh, the breath of life yes. into us, yes. uh, creation. So. We're, when we're born uh, of our mother's womb, we are catch the breath of life, and, and mm -hmm. His Spirit is in us, moving. Uh, and if we were to follow that lead all the way through our living, well, we would be doing well. Mm -hmm. We have thoughts that interrupt that, and and we sometimes mm -hmm. give in to those other thoughts, mm -hmm. and then we have to be reconciled in our own lives for decisions that we made that weren't the best for us or anybody mm -hmm. else become the points of uh, addressing those issues, mm -hmm. you know, points of maturity. Uh, and they say we mature in seven-year cycles mm -hmm. in the human life, and so we, uh, we address these things, we come to intersections in our lives, so we have to say, where am I, who am I, where, what do I want to do, where am I going, all those kinds of things, and, and we have to continually grow in the that relationship we've been given mm -hmm. and come to see well our creator created us wonderfully but there's more to that than what I now know what is it I'm lacking and uh, it's that personal relationship that's been restored mm -hmm. uh, that leads just through eternity so we we recognize we have to we have to say Lord if we don't know Lord what is it about my life I need to I need to understand more of who you are. I know I'm created so wonderfully. And therefore, he, uh, he gives us, you know, we, we pray, he answers us, even before we accept who he is, you know, because we're his mm -hmm. creation and we pray to God, help me. <laughs> and he does help us. So it's, it's a wonderful thing that we uh, can come to that time that God has ordained for us to know him more, mm -hmm. more and more. Mm -hmm. When uh, 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 I used to be on the road uh, 
preaching. Whenever it reaches the time to lay hands on the sick, what I learned was that I have to release the life that is in me into that person mm. for the sickness to remove. So I have to reconcile mm. and release my reconciliation into Yeah. Mm. That's that exchange that exchange. we talked about. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You see, if that doesn't happen, no healing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I was in the uh, Seoul, uh, uh, South Korea. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, Dr. Cho. He's, he has the largest church in the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, let's go to the uh, Buddhist and I'll show you something. And we went and I was talking to one of the Buddhist uh, priests and I, I told him, I, I believe in healing. He said, we believe in healing too. Mm -hmm. You see. But he missed one thing. Their healing is through the thought, mm -hmm. the mind. Yes. My healing is through reconciliation. It's permanent. Theirs comes back once in a while. You see? Mm -hmm. it, the, their healing never is permanent. Mm. Okay. But mine is permanent. When, when I lay hands on you, I release reconciliation into you. In that regard, it says in James 5 about the fact that we, we say a prayer of faith. Faith. Mm -hmm. So that is releasing our faith and our that's, life. That's the reconciliation. It's because the laying on of hands that's it talks it. about, yes. You see? Mm -hmm. And so that, that is one thing that I learned and it has stuck with me. Anytime I lay hands on somebody, mm -hmm. I start to love some, that person. Yes. Yes, that's right. You see, and when you start to love, you find that the reconciliation, that person is changed from sickness to wellness. To wellness. You see, restored into the original. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, healing is restoration into original. Yes. The original is reconciled mm -hmm. into into the person. Mm -hmm. You see, and that's. Self is no more selfish, but self-love. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's good. So you, you, in that particular ceremony, you identify with the person you're praying over. Yes. Completely, like Jesus yes. identifies with mm -hmm. us. And he has given us healing. Yes. Complete and total healing. Total, mm -hmm. absolute healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is reconciled unto God. Well, that is definitely a mature expression of mm -hmm. reconciliation. Yes. Uh, that's great. I, mm -hmm. uh, I had never considered that before, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's wonderful. But I think it's important to recognize, and you said this, that that reconciliation has to be your carrier of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, so it's part of who we are. It's something we've experienced ourselves first, and we can't minister what we haven't first received, Amen right? To that, yes. So freely as you have received, freely Amen. we're going to give. And a lot of us have, you know, we're trying to <clears throat> minister love to people, which ultimately is what heals them, right? Mm -hmm. So we're ministering the Lord's love when we don't know God's love, mm -hmm. or we know God's love, but we haven't reconciled that in our own heart, in, in ourselves. Yes, and saying, not only do I know that God loves me, but I agree, I love me too. Mm -hmm. Again, so mm -hmm. it's that second. And you know that second part of not just saying uh, I agree with what God says, but I say it too. I I say it, it about it becomes myself. my word. Yes, and it's who I am, and it's to the core of Amen. my being. Amen. God and I are one in this area. It is reconciled. It is done. It's established, and we are one. There is no, uh, you know, when you take a look at like um, healing and deliverance and those kinds of things. The, you know, when they built the wall, they, they built the wall so that there were no breaches or no gaps in the mm -hmm. wall, right? right? So the enemy couldn't get in. Well, if you take a look at um, our spirit man and our soul, right? And when our soul is in, in contention or when there's tension between my soul or God is saying this about me and my soul is saying, but 
but, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And right. so I always say, like, God's butt is bigger than your butt. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but. So, like, well, well, I know God forgives me because he's God and he has to, but I can't seem to forgive myself. So what happens then is we have our spirit man and our soul, and what, there's a gap there, right? And so when there's a gap... That leaves room for the enemy, the enemy to begin to r r work and, and speak. Understood. And so part of, you know, part of that process is repenting yeah. and saying, I break my agreement with myself yes. and mm -hmm. my own judgment of myself. Mm -hmm. And I come into an alignment with what God says about who I am. And I close the gap to anger, I close the gap to bitterness, I close, which, you know, start as, a, as emotional things that we struggle with, but as we get older, the, the body, the flesh will begin to mimic the soul. So if I have self-abasing thinking and I'm constantly attacking myself in my mind in disagreement with God, so my, my mind begins to attack myself my body will begin to mimic that. And a lot of times we'll see people manifest physically in autoimmune disorders, mm -hmm. um, diseases that mm -hmm. are actually eating mm -hmm. away at the own body. You know, cancer is, a cancer cell is a part of the body's function. It's mm -hmm. a part of the body, but it's a, it's a part that grows rampant and then begins to become overactive and eats away at the body's good cells. Um, and so there are... There are, there are soulish roots, for lack of a better term, there are soulish roots to every physical manifestation. Yes. And those soulish roots take place when there's a gap. Okay. You know, and so when we're ministering healing and deliverance, what you're saying is, is God's love hopefully is going to reconcile those places where these spaces are and slam that door shut mm -hmm. and kick that disease out, kick that anger out, mm -hmm. kick that that self-hatred out, kick that bitterness out, kick that fear out, whatever it is that we've allowed to dominate our heart and our mind. And repentance is where I say, I break my agreement with anger. I break mm -hmm. my agreement with hatred. Mm -hmm. I break my agreement with, and that repentance saying, God, I'm coming into an alignment. Because repentance isn't just about saying, I'm wrong. No. It's about saying, and God, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I'm, I'm changing my, my mind about what I think, and I'm coming into alignment with God's mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. and, and you talked about that earlier, becoming one with God's thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you know? That's it. Well, you know, it's like you were saying about us becoming one, see? Mm -hmm. Because in, in Christ, we are one. We're one with God, and we're one with each other, and we're one with ourselves mm -hmm. in the true definition of oneness. And I, as you were talking, I, I thought about you know, why you argue, or why we argue with ourselves, would be because we're conditional. We think love is conditional. Like, you know, if I behave appropriately enough, then I, um, I qualify to be in a better place, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And God is not conditional. He said the conditional part has been paid in full mm -hmm. by Jesus on the cross. So I've taken care of all those things that separate. They're paid for in full. So all you have to do is believe and receive that truth. And then from that truth comes my relationship with you for eternity. And therefore we, uh, we have to realize I have to lay all my conditions down. Mm -hmm and receive all of His, the fullness of His love into my living. The, what you have to, uh, when you receive, you have to own what you have received. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. When you own it, right. then it becomes you. Mm -hmm. That's right. You see? Then you can dispense it. Mm -hmm. If you don't own it, mm -hmm. yeah. you can receive it. You see, you give me something, I take it, I put it down. Yes, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's yeah, and you know, I mean, the yeah. Israelites are a perfect example of that, mm -hmm. that there was deliverance and salvation, salvation. out of Egypt, mm -hmm. but they never entered in and possessed that's the promise. That's, and that's, so it, when you say ownership, it's the possession to seize, yes. to make it your own. Your yes. own. Yeah. That's right. You see? Yeah. Your own. When you accept the reconciliation of God, it is life. Yeah. It is, it's, it is total prosperity. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. inclusive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that abundant life? Abundant. Yes. Yes. Life. The overflow. You, see, you have received yeah. what He is. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. And you are making use of who he is. Mm -hmm. And so when I move, God is moving. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, <laughs> when, when I move, it's God moving. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe it, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that is, that is what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. That's right. You see? Yeah. Yes. Look, if you I, see yep. me, you've seen the Father. That's right. And so w when we accept reconciliation, mm -hmm. all things are possible. That's right. Amen. Not some things. Yeah, right. They are not probable. <laughs> That's good. That's right. It's good. That's right. They so. are possible. Mm -hmm. You see, we have to. The, the, thing, the thing about it is a maintenance of what we have received. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you have to maintain it. Yes. You see, That's true. by maintaining it, you knock out all the buzzards that come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mm -hmm. see? That's right. So that nothing touches what you have. You see? You have the fullness of the Godhead inside That's of right. you. See, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. That's right. That's, yeah. that's yeah. what the reconciliation is. In, right. in that song? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit yes. live in our hearts. The fullness so. of it is inside of you. Mm -hmm. And so, see, if you want to see God, look at Lisa. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is yes, what it is. It is, absolutely. absolutely. You can laugh all you want. That yes, is no, so it true. is exactly we're, we're what it is. Yeah. Large and <laughs> yeah, it absolutely <laughs> is. You know, and, and that's that's part of it is it's like we we have to be walking to the point that people can taste and see mm -hmm. just by the way we're Amen. living our life, right? Amen. And so I think we've made the gospel all about the words that we speak mm -hmm. and the point A, point B, point C <laughs> yes. of how of, yeah. of the ways to leading Indeed. somebody Indeed. into the gospel Indeed. and that's not what it's about. No. It's about people seeing see. you and going, Ooh, I don't know what it is about you but, somebody, but I smell something yeah, good yeah, and I taste good. something good when I'm yeah, around you so, and so. whatever it is you've been eating and I whatever some. you've been settling in, I want that. That is what it is. And a lot of us we're not giving off that aroma. When you were talking earlier, I was mm. thinking about how vultures don't prey on live animals. No. They prey on carcass. Yes. You know? Mm. And so the dead places in our life that haven't been resurrected and reconciled mm. in Christ, those are the areas where the enemy's gonna peck at us, right? He's going to come and he's going to devour oh, us. Yes. The demons exactly. are going to come and attack us in those places. And so it's not about getting rid of the demons. It's about bringing dead places to life. Amen. Because when we bring dead places to life, the demons will flee. That's right. They right? Nothing there that they want anymore. Mm -hmm. And so we give our life completely over to Jesus. as He's given his life completely over to us. Well, then we walk in his newness of life. Mm -hmm. We are that new creation. Mm -hmm. That he has made us and therefore we grow then from there in his grace and knowledge it's the grace and knowledge of jesus we grow yeah. in yeah. for the rest of our lives and so that makes life exciting and wonderful what are the possibilities that are always there day to day yeah it's, it makes it enjoyable livable and uh presentable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see you present it to others Mm -hmm. Yes. Such as I have, give I thee. Yes. yes. That's you right. See? Yep. What I have is what I'm giving you. That's mm -hmm. right. I have God and I'm giving you God. That's right. Amen. That's right. You see, mm -hmm. it, it's something we have to be mindful of who we are. We have to be mindful of who we have become. Mm -hmm. We have to be mindful of maintain, maintaining who we are and what we have become. Yeah. Amen, that's right. And that's like uh, Paul said in Romans 12, you know, we need to become this new person through uh, giving our lives totally over to God again every day mm -hmm. and refreshing that relationship mm -hmm. because of the fact that we do fight against our natural instincts as well. And as we remind ourselves every day of who we are in Christ and that we are reconciled in Him to live this reconciled life well then we say yes lord thank you for the mm -hmm. opportunity and the blessing of knowing you in this way today may we glorify the father in everything we say Amen. and do so when 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 the uh, apostles were in antioch they never told anybody that they were apostles they were hiding from mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh, 
the Romans, Romans and, the, and, all and the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. But what they had. Well, I think we've run to the end of our uh, mm -hmm. time together today, so we look forward to the next time. But as we close, uh, Brother Quaker, would you uh, close in prayer for us? Father, we thank you once again. You have made it possible that we are able to just discuss you and to enjoy your presence mm -hmm. and to tell each other who we mm -hmm. are that you have made us to be. Mm -hmm. Father, yeah. we thank you. We praise you. We end this session with your love and we give love to those who are watching and listening to us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>